We'll guide you through how to fix a new second monitor not being detected in Windows. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is super annoying when it's not working, so let's go and get started. So what you want to do is go and right click on a blank area space in your desktop and click on display settings. You may find the monitor is appearing here or it may not be. Don't worry, we're covering fixes for both. If it isn't appearing here, make sure that it's properly connected. Make sure both monitors are plugged into the same output card. So for example, make sure they're both plugged into your graphics card, not one plugged into the graphics card and one into your motherboard. After you've done that, hopefully it should be appearing here. If it isn't, make sure the cables are all working and properly connected. After you've made sure they're plugged in correctly, scroll down and find detect other display. Click on detect as that may then go and find it. Then if it's appearing here and it's not still not working, then you want to make sure in the bottom right here, you've got duplicate or extend selected. If it's only set to show only on one, one screen is going to be black and not working. So make sure you've got extend or duplicate selected. Another thing you can do is make sure display adapter is up to date. To do that, come to the bottom of your computer and type in device manager. It will go and open up, go and find display adapters and click on the arrow to the left to expand it. Then you want to right click on your adapter and go and click on update driver. Click on search automatically for drivers and it will go and see if the latest one is already installed. Mine is, but it will do it if there is one. And what you can also do is go and check the device manufacturer's website as well, as sometimes there are better drivers there. So in my case, because I have an NVIDIA graphics card, I could go and type in NVIDIA GPU drivers or graphics card drivers, and I could then go and get them. I already have something called NVIDIA GeForce Experience, where I can click on drivers and go and update them just here. What you want to do is go and open up your graphics card drivers. So for example, I've got an NVIDIA graphics card. You may have an AMD, so the settings will be different. So all we need to do is go and open up our graphics card control panel. Come over to the left and select set up multiple displays. Make sure the displays you want to use are selected here as well, as otherwise that may be why it's not properly working. 